Did you know that the world's best place to live is in the middle of Europe? It is Vienna, Austria, consistently ranks as one of the best cities in the world. It was favorite to be voted the greatest city in the world yet again, after dominating in recent years. The Global Liveability Ranking is a yearly ranking that is given out by the EIU, Economist Intelligence Unit, with an overall score out of 100 determined by outcomes such as healthcare, education, and even more. The full list of 2023's ranking via Wikipedia is here, the same city that was at the top of the ranking before the COVID pandemic, is still the most livable city. Vienna remains the city with the highest quality of life in many areas. The report highlights the city's rich history, stunning architecture, and vibrant cultural life. Coming at the second place, Copenhagen is known for its sustainable approach, green spaces, good cycling infrastructure, and excellent healthcare and education. Although German cities have made it to the top of the list with their cultural opportunities, strong economy, and excellent public transportation systems. In order for a city to be attractive to companies and digital nomads, not only the quality of life offered by the city is important, but also the cost of living. In addition, there are other ranking options that need to be considered. These include fresh air and public safety. It is also an important factor where it is the cheapest to live. Of course, our health is never a negligible factor, and there can even be surprises in the list of the world's healthiest countries and cities. In the next part of the video, we will take a look at these factors. Every year, the BritishMoney.co.uk examines the countries and larger cities of the earth, researching where the best place to live is. The study analyzes everything from life expectancy to air pollution, obesity rates, safety, and hours of sunshine. But this year, the research also took into account factors that have become more important since the start of the pandemic. The 2022 edition added indicators such as the availability of healthcare and the number of mental health professionals, social workers, psychiatrists, and psychologists in each country. The research also looked at the frequency of mental health and substance abuse, as well as the average all-inclusive healthcare costs of the country or city. Based on this, the following list was compiled. On one of the top spots, there is none other than Japan. This Asian country won the title of the healthiest country in the world, thanks to a number of positive facts. The country has excellent public transportation. Few people own cars, which results in very low air pollution. The Japanese approach to food is very different from the Western one. They eat much smaller portions, more protein-rich foods, and have a greater respect for food preparation and eating. This is in stark contrast to the fast food culture of Western countries. The people of Japan stay fit and healthy by moving their bodies every day as they walk a lot, hence the country's extremely low obesity rate of 3.6%. Life expectancy is the highest in the world here, and the oldest person ever lived here, and the oldest person alive today, who is currently 119 years old. The second best spot is definitely in Switzerland. Life expectancy is 84 years, which is higher than the European Union average of 80.4 years. Traditional Swiss dishes are made from fresh ingredients, so the population's diet consists of very little processed food. Cities are designed for people to walk, and it's easy to get from one place to another on foot. Thanks to the easily achievable daily exercise, the country has a low obesity rate. More walking also means less pollution. So Switzerland's fresh alpine air is among the cleanest in the world. The study, needless to say, ranked all the countries in the world. Norway has 48 psychiatrists per 100,000 people, more than any other country in the world. The country has a relatively high rate of mental health and substance abuse problems compared to the rest of the world. 16.2% of the population suffers from them. As a result, it seems logical that many people in the country are working to help this segment of the population. The Scandinavian countries are often referred to as the happiest countries in the world. And these many professionals play a big role in Norway maintaining its title. Therapy plays a huge role in Argentine culture, with 222.6 psychologists per 100,000 people in the country. Argentines consider therapy, or more precisely psychoanalysis, to be essential for development and health. Talking about therapy is every day, so there is no stigma attached to maintaining mental health in this way. Only 11.6% of the population suffers from mental illness or substance abuse, a number that is clearly kept low by the tradition of supporting mental health. Turkey has 150.25 nurses per 100,000 people, and healthcare is free, 
so it is easily accessible to the population. Healthcare spending accounts for only 4.12% of GDP. The country's average life expectancy is 82 years, which is among the highest in the world. This could also be due to the large number of nurses. Canada has the most social workers per capita, with 145.4 professionals per 100,000 people. In 2020, the profession was one of the 20 most sought-after jobs in the country. The country spends 10.79% of its GDP on healthcare, which is among the highest expenditures of the compared countries. However, taxes are really high in Canada. Valencia has retained the title of the healthiest city in the world, ranking first in 2022 as well as in 2021. Thanks to many factors, it is the best place to live here. The pollution is low, the healthcare is very good, and the life expectancy is high, 83.5 years. The city has a rich musical and cultural heritage and its inhabitants place great emphasis on their social relationships, which leads to a very healthy work-life balance. Valencia is followed by Madrid, with Canberra in third place, followed by Lisbon, Tokyo, Zurich, and Vienna. Finland is the least polluted country in the world, so it comes as no surprise that its capital, Helsinki, tops the list of cities with the cleanest air. The country has strict environmental regulations in place, with a strong focus on renewable energy, electric vehicles, and environmental protection. Canberra and Wellington in Australia are in second and third place, respectively, when it comes to the cities with the cleanest air on Earth. In recent years, the Australian government has made a lot of effort to improve air quality, and this has clearly paid off in the capital. Meanwhile, in New Zealand, the low population density, the coastal location, and the strong winds mean that most of the pollution disappears, and the air quality is good all year round. The situation is further improving as fossil fuels are gradually being phased out, even in colder areas. We come back to Switzerland again, because if we are looking for the safest city according to the study that is the basis of our article, then Zurich is the dream location for this. Based on this, it is the best place to live here. The city has an extremely low crime rate, so you can enjoy the stunning scenery, the rich culture, and the shopping opportunities without any worries. Muscat, the capital of Oman, was ranked second, which is known as an extremely safe and friendly city. Despite being surrounded by rather unstable and conflict-ridden countries, Oman has a very low crime rate and its residents are extremely welcoming to all visitors. There are also many things to see here, especially the city's beautiful buildings and mosques. Whether you are traveling alone with your friends or family or thinking about settling down, Muscat is worth a visit. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, sharing your thoughts or any questions you might have. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Check out these videos too.